Hello and welcome to Give and Take, The Positives in Life. And today's topic is the principles of Reiki fusion. And so before we go to my guests, we will see a short clip of a video of about the, um, the actual, sh what the show will be about today. Thank you. Hello, this is Cynthia Chase of the Soul Journey Channel. You may want to know more about what it is really like in what we call the other side. Let me try to delve more deeply into my experience. First, to describe the indescribable is impossible. It is like trying to name the nameless one. I will try to peel back the layers to share some sense of the wonder. I use the present tense to convey more of the immediacy. I have no body. I am pure consciousness. I find that I don't need a body to be aware, present, feeling, seeing, and sensing. I am expanded awareness. I experience pleasure, joy, bliss. I feel totally connected. There is no separation of me from anything else. I feel deep universal love. I am both sender and receiver. I am at once me and universal consciousness. I am the divine. And at the same time, I am my individual consciousness, my memory, my individual life and past lives remain intact. I am the language of love. Love is the universal language. My heart is the center of me. Rather than judgment and recrimination, I receive and send understanding, compassion, and the highest level of love. I am in a state of grace. I have direct access to wisdom and insight of the highest order. Time does not exist. I swim the eternal. Other beings exist in this realm, and communication exists in telepathy. The sound of heaven, of the angels, is transcendent. I am part of an infinite matrix of energetic connections. I understand that everything is connected. I say namaste to you, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. So now welcome. So if you'd like to introduce yourself to the viewers and tell them what it is that you do, I, I'm sure they're going to be in for a wonderful treat. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. Thank you so much for inviting me, Cicely. My name is Cynthia Chase, and I am a psycho-spiritual therapist and a Reiki master. Okay. Um, what, what that involves is the activation of my life force energy to allow the universal love and life force energy, energy to flow through me uh, to my client as I'm working with them. What you just saw, uh, my near-death experience, was an extraordinary experience. Mm. I'm not the only one that's had it. Many thousands of people have had the same experience or similar experiences. Mm -hmm. Um, what it did for me, and it took a long time to marinate for me to really understand the true meaning of it, is it allowed me to understand the multi-dimensional nature of what it is to be human. Mm. So we walk around in the physical reality and we think that this is all there is often. Right. Mm -hmm. Being shot over to the other side 
and then catapulted back allowed me to realize that that non-physical entity that I was there, I still am, but I have this, what I might call a lower vibrational uh, uh, nature here that coincides with the higher vibrational energetic being that I was on the other side. Mm. When I returned, I was in a state of activation, what you might call energetic activation, so that I was more attuned to spirit, to God, to the energies that would flow through me in a powerful way, a more powerful way, in order to do hands-on healing. The energy comes through my hands. Mm. And also it activated my, my insight to be able to actually see uh, auric fields, uh, to be able to intuitively sense what's going on inside of a person uh, so that I could use that in the healing process. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So now I see you have this pendulum in your hand. Would you, you want to share a little bit about that beautiful pendu pendulum that you're holding? Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, the universal calibration lattice, would you like uh, to see to see that visual now? And then I'll explain this to you. Yes, they'll put that up, yes. Mm -hmm. Here it is. So this is a representation by Peggy Phoenix uh, Dubro uh, of the human being and the different energy centers. Mm -hmm. There are different uh, energy centers called chakras. Okay. And that is a spinning wheel of light in Sanskrit, mm -hmm. an ancient language. And what it refers to is the concentration of energy in certain parts of our body. There are many, many areas that have these areas of concentration, but we'll deal with seven of them for, for right now. Okay. We have the root mm -hmm. that's connecting us to Mother Earth. Okay. We have the sexual creative center. Okay. Uh, speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. The um, solar plexus is almost like the reservoir of life force energy. And the life force energy comes up from the center of the earth, mm. from Mother Earth, right. and moves up our legs, up our body, and moves into this bowl. And the spiritual energy comes from above, through us, and fills us up here. Mm -hmm. So when we're open and flowing, the energy comes from below and above, and we feel full. We feel okay. energized. And that's, <laughs> and that's what puts a smile on our face. Exactly. Huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Lovely. Then we have the heart center, mm -hmm. and this, when, if this is blocked, people have heart attacks, people have okay. chest pains, mm -hmm. angina. There's a lot of physical problems that come about as a result of blockages. Wow. Now, some people have a difficulty in speaking their truth. Mm -hmm. When it's open, you speak your truth clearly with insight. The third eye the is third here. Eye. You can see intuitively what is really going on around you and inside of you. Right. And then the crown chakra mm -hmm. opens you up to connection with spirit. Now, I mention these things because what I use the pendulum for in part, many uses, it's just a tool for me to access spiritual information. Mm -hmm. So when I'm working with a client, right. I may do what I call an energy diagnostic. Mm -hmm. So I check, okay, is the root chakra open? This is my yes. If it's not open, this is my no. Okay. And I go up and down the whole uh, uh, kind of energetic body of the person. Mm -hmm. And so I get an idea about the health of their chakras or whether they're blocked, whether they're heavy, whether they're closed, whether they're blasted open too wide. And, and then it gives me a clue as to be able to, how to proceed to balance out, to open up, clear, and balance out the energies. Hmm. You know, you hear about this word energy, and it's like, yes, you know, the energy, the energy. But I'm wondering if people really understand the depths of energy. And so now you're really going into the depths of what it means mm -hmm. and talking about the chakras and what each one means and so it's good to hear it in its fullness mm -hmm. instead of just hearing that one word energy and so yes. when you get a better picture in the way that you're explaining it it makes it a lot more clearer well there's a lot more to it than chakras I'm sure the <laughs> ancient uh yogis uh, understood 
there are nadis, there are, there are many different ways and layers to understand our energetic being. Mm -hmm. We are unbelievably complex. Right. We may know, we may never fully understand just how complex and multi-layered we are. When I say multi-dimensional, we truly are multi-dimensional. Most people auras, the, the energy that surrounds the physical body, goes out to about here. Hmm. So when I'm working with someone, I start up close to them, and I go, okay, do you feel anything right here? And they go, oh, yes, I feel something like heating up in my heart area. Right. This is how far your particular auric field extends. Hmm. So, so if the if the the auric the auric um, it's here the auric energy am I saying that correct? Completely, the egg surrounds you like okay. like, like 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 the, the universal lattice? like the lattice. Okay, the egg surrounds you, and you and it goes up about a foot above your body, mm -hmm. and about a foot below your body. Right, and then from here, yes. it branches out. That's how psychics get their information, mm. because if I'm sitting here with you, mm -hmm. my field of energy goes up here. And then it spreads out in connection with the universal life force energy, right. which is intelligent. Yours goes up, mm -hmm. and then we meet. Hmm. That's the access point. Right. So now you're saying the energy goes this far. So really and truly, that's how far a person should be away from you. That's how I'm seeing it. Because then they're, com they're coming into your energy field. Well, that's why, you you know, if somebody walks too close to you, you know exactly how close they are. Right. And you feel like, wait a minute. you feel it. You do feel like some kind of electricity there. You feel that, like, static. Totally. Yes. Biomagnetic yes. electric. Mm, we are bi that. biological, magnetic, and electric. And that's, that's what you're sensing. Even if mm. you, you don't know it consciously, if somebody walks up behind you, they're very silent. Right. But you feel like... I can feel, yes. Wait, mm. what's going on? Who's there? Right. But not everybody picks up on that. I've seen no. that happen too. Well, you know, you're very, very perceptive because mm. what happens is, as an energy worker, I've actually had to work for many years to train uh, to be sensitive to energy. Mm -hmm. Some of us are more sensitive than others. Now, right. it doesn't mean that we're not energy beings. Mm -hmm. But it's just, we may not be aware. Right, the awareness. The awareness. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a big part of the work as, as a, a healer, or in this case a Reiki master, mm -hmm. Reiki fusion master, is to be able to train. And I literally, I, I'm like an athlete that has to train every day to keep up the skills. Right. Through meditation, mm -hmm. through healthy eating, right. through healthy thinking. Uh, through quieting the mind, mm -hmm. through allowing the positive to come in right. and enliven and awaken me. Mm -hmm. So it's about consciousness. Consciousness and, as you said, keeping up the skills because mm -hmm. that's key. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't just do something and say, okay, now I feel better. Mm. You have to follow up with it. My last guest had spoken about that also, mm -hmm. about following through because we tend to feel like I'm okay. I don't need this anymore. But we all know that that's not the truth. If you're yeah. consistent and you're staying firm with it, then you will get a positive um, outcome at the end of it. Absolutely. So, because you know our minds mm -hmm. tend to go back to the monkey mind. Yeah. It's called the monkey mind. So if you're sitting there yes. and you're trying to meditate, you could have these bomb this bombardment mm. of what am I going to have for dinner? What's on my list? oh no, this is terrible, what is happening over there and over mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And if we allow our minds to take control, right. our mind will take us down. It will. <laughs> Absolutely will. So what's the antidote? Mm -hmm. The antidote, I find, is sitting quietly, whether it be laying on the mat, on my bio mat, with the energy coming up and clearing me, or sitting in meditation, mm -hmm. wherever I am, right. throughout the day or night, I bring awareness to those thoughts or feelings, mm -hmm. and I set them aside, or I put them in a balloon and I let them float up. Mm. And I do, or sometimes in the beginning, I may write down some of these important thoughts. Then they get less and less frequent. 
Then there's this inner space. It expands like a flower. The point of light, mm. the point of energy that is, is the quiet mind where in the ultimate truth of things you can access God. And God is that point of light. Yes. Yes. You can access mm -hmm. spirit and right. it's very peaceful. Mm -hmm. But you have to go through this kind of weaning process or cleansing process in order to quiet the mind sufficiently to come to this core which connect which is personal. That's right. Which connects with the universal mm -hmm. life force, which is intelligent and all love. That's right. But you made a good point. You said it's personal. So what is for me is for me, and what's for you is for you. Mm -hmm. And if we understand that, we wouldn't be going through so much sorrow in the world because we're always trying to put ourselves into somebody else's life. Yes. And so that's not going to work. So we have to focus on the self. What can I do differently instead of what is that person doing to me? Here's a thought. If you remember that you are a spiritual being mm -hmm. and that spiritual being is connected, it was, right. it is, and it will be. That's right. And you develop the witness, the witness that observes yourself, mm -hmm. your machinations, your desire to control, your desire to maneuver or, or manipulate the environment or people. You witness that. That's right. And then detach from it. Detach from it. And see, oh, I see that you're trying to control this person. Mm -hmm. You don't like that they leave their shoes, their muddy shoes over there. <laughs> 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 or they're very annoying in certain ways. Um, detach from those the, from those feelings, which is which is the world, the Earth School drama. Right. So those are learned habits. Yes. Those are learned. That's not what we come into this Earth with. Those things. Those are learned. <laughs> so you're I have right. to unlearn them. And you're, you're right. given some very good methods and techniques and how to unlearn those behaviors. The witness doesn't get involved in these small dramas. Right. But it's all about learning from the dramas. Um, what, um, what, what, learning what the messages are. Right. Exactly. Very wonderful. Now, moving forward, do you have a series of things that you want to go through? Well, one thing that I want to say is mm -hmm. the healing comes through me. Mm -hmm. It is not from me. Right. So there is So this, you understand that you're just the instrument. I'm the instrument. Mm -hmm. So I have to make sure that I work on myself right. to take a look at whatever traumas or negative experiences I've had mm -hmm. that make me want to grip and, and, and close down and right. hold. Right. Release those. I have to face them and release them. Mm -hmm. How can I help anybody heal? unless I release my own limitations, <laughs> unless I go through my own pain and suffering and work my way through it mm -hmm. to a point of healing. Right. So uh, th this is my job, mm -hmm. to open myself up as a vessel, right. to allow this amazing uh, and loving, it's beautiful, this mm. amazing life force Lovely. to flow through me to you. Mm -hmm. So you don't take on any of that uh, negative energy or any kind of, you don't take that on personally. I've had to work for many years not to do that. Mm. And it's, it's an ongoing process. Wow, okay. I don't think I will or any of us will ever be completely done. So there might be something come up in, 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 that comes up in my life that's of a particular challenge. Mm. And I might find myself going back to my old ways. But then I have to step back That's right. and go, ah, are you sure you want to go that route? Are you, are you sure you want to do that now? Mm -hmm. So then I go into my space of mm -hmm. healing and my own Reiki crystal healing meditation. I go back into that space, face myself, mm -hmm. go through my own pain, let it go, remember who I am, Good. and then come back to my center. Mm -hmm. 
So I'll never be done. I don't think we're ever done. Right. It's it's a continual learning process. It is an ever it's ever evolving learning and, process. And, it, and exciting. Very. Life is very exciting. <laughs> we just need to see that it's very exciting. <laughs> the other thing is that it's it's all such a miracle. Mm -hmm. So very often we forget and we take for granted the miracle of mm -hmm. every moment. Right. Of this breath, this breath will not always be here. Mm -hmm. So this breath is a miracle of life. Right. Every morning with the sunrise. It's an absolute miracle, a flower growing from a seed. And as I tell people, just have quiet moments with yourself before you step outside the door. Just sit down in silence, whether it's silence, whether it's a meditation video, or if it's just music, something, just you, just you and you and whatever it is that you believe in. Just let it be that. And you'll see how your day will progress in the way it should and also end the night that way too. Yes. Because we do things wrong and we're none of us perfect, but just to find something that will help us to get centered throughout the day and night. Now, that's a very good point. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to mention that too. The idea of doing something wrong and, and what do we do when we find that we're off track. Mm -hmm. um, in Hawaii, there's a prayer called the Ho Opono Pono. And Mora, let's use her first name, Mora, uh, in the 1970s, kind of coalesced very ancient teachings. Mm -hmm. And they had to do with, with reconciliation. And in this case, it could be reconciliation with yourself or with others. Mm -hmm. It has to do with, first of all, the expression of love. It could be, I love you. Right. Even though you did that thing. I'm sorry I hurt myself or I hurt someone else. Please forgive me. And this, this could be said to yourself. Please forgive me mm -hmm. for what I've done. Right. So like personal affirmations. But it can be done in a family. It can be done in relationship. It can mm -hmm. be done in a community on a global basis. Right. It, you can make it as small or as large as you like. Mm. Ending with thank you. Thank you for the lesson I've learned. Thank you for helping me learn that lesson. Thank you for loving me. Okay, yeah, okay. So you know it's, we're really going through already. We have like about a few, five minutes left. Just five. And so if there's anything you else you'd like to share with the viewers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'd like to talk about the idea of surrender. Mm. It took me years to be able to get this 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 concept of in the process of healing mm -hmm. get out of my own way it's the, the ego gets in the way oh I'm gonna do this I'm gonna make this happen mm -hmm. so I've really worked on I surrender please help me to get out of my own way right please allow the truth to flow through me and it's about letting go. It's about letting go of those aspects of my personality mm -hmm. that tend to hold or grip or need to know or need to say the right thing. Right. And it's about letting it flow through me. Mm -hmm. Good. That was a very important learning very good. aspect for me. Mm -hmm. So now there are different levels of the Reiki that you do, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, actually, I, I teach Reiki. Mm -hmm. And um, the first level, there are three. Mm -hmm. The first one is the initiation degree. Okay. And there are several classes ending in an actual ritual in which the hand is opened up to be able to receive the, the universal life force uh, intelligent energy to flow through you mm. from the crown to your heart, arm, and out through your hand. Right. So then that person who's initiated often feels like, oh, my hand is burning. Well, it's an indication that the energy, the Reiki, Ray, God, or spirit, key energy, mm. is seeking to come through. You may have, you want to put it on your knee, you may feel that your husband or your, your son or daughter is hurt, you may want to place your hand there. The second uh, degree is the practitioner degree. 
so that more energy comes through even, even further. Um, and uh, that's where you can begin to practice on other people and maybe begin to charge, you know, a, you know, a small fee mm -hmm. and really get into the work of practicing. Right. Mm -hmm. the, the master level uh, allows the, um, a great deal of energy, healing energy, to come through you. Mm -hmm. And you can also teach. Okay, very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So it's good, you know, you hear these words, Reiki, this, chakras and all this. So it was nice for you to give us a, a nice explanation of each, you know, each thing or what they are and what's the meaning of them. Because these words are so used so loosely. And uh, so it's good that you came and uh, gave us the explanation. Thank you. Now, is there anything else that you want yes, to share? Yes, actually, I think I've forgotten a couple of things. One, mm. one has to do with the... The, the brainwave frequencies mm -hmm. uh, of, of the, the client, uh, the, the goal is to help them reduce this rapid mm -hmm. cognitive day-to-day uh, -day mindset mm -hmm. and assist them to be able to really relax. So instead of the beta right. uh, uh, brain, brain waves where 14 to 40 hertz, we want to try and slow the brain wave down to mm -hmm. about the alpha uh, range, right. 7.5 to 14 hertz, or even lower to the theta range, okay. where you're really going very deep and, and relaxing and getting accessing the programming mm -hmm. that, was, that was done to you when you were, or you experienced when you were a child. Right. It allows you to reprogram. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last thing is the five senses that the Reiki master uses in order to access information from spirit. This is a tool. I have a lot of information coming through with my yes and my no. Okay. But also, we can get, uh, sen uh, all five senses can be activated. Mm -hmm. I remember I had a client one time and I smelled this chemical and mm. I, I, I didn't understand it. Right. At the end I asked, is there some sort of chemical exposure that you've had? Wow. And she said, oh my God, how did you know that? Mm. I was just diagnosed as having lead in arsenic poisoning. Wow, wow, <laughs> See, yeah, it just gets very um, in, in depth of, of these things, you know, connecting mm -hmm. and, and the sensing and the, what comes through to help you able to connect with that person so that you can heal. But anyway, Cynthia, we're coming down to the very end of the show, and I want to thank you for coming and sharing about the uh, principles of Reiki Fusion. And yeah. so um, I'm sure that you'll probably come on again. I say that to all my guests, <laughs> but I'm sure it'd be wonderful to go into some more detail about some of the principles. And so I want to say to the viewers, thank you for tuning in. And just to let you know that your level of consciousness is the gateway to the success of your future. Thank you.